So God said that we were going to be cursed in the city. When you look at so-called black people, right, so-called African-Americans, as a majority, do we live in the, the best of the cities, in the best of the neighborhoods in Atlanta? No. no. Predominantly in the, in, the, in the neighborhoods surrounding in Atlanta or New York or in California, predominantly are our people living in those areas? Bring it out. No, no. So read that curse again. Because God said that the Israelites, this is Moses, this is Deuteronomy, okay? This is in the Torah, okay, which the so-called Jewish man claims to believe in. That's what we're reading out of, right? So read that again, the first curse, by not keeping his commandments. Read that. Curse shall thy be in the city. Right, so the real Israelites, if we didn't keep God's laws, if we didn't keep the commandments, like what? Today is the Sabbath day. But in the Christian churches, right, that the so-called white man set up, right, the Catholic church, he doesn't teach that God's Sabbath day is on the Sabbath, right? So we keep, we, we worship God on Sunday. That's breaking a commandment. So these curses are gonna come on God's people because we don't even keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. But you didn't know that, and that's why you're here today, learning your true identity. Jump to verse 68. I'm going to give you a curse for not keeping God's commandments. What was going to happen to the real Israelites, the real 12 tribes of Israel, right? Because there's a people who are calling themselves the Jews. Jew is just short for Judah. That's one of 12 tribes, right? In Israel today, who's calling themselves Reuben? Who cares? Who's calling themselves Manasseh? It's divisive. You're playing it right. to Trump. We Who cares? Because we believe in the Bible. Yes, we, be, we believe in the word of God. Why right. divide okay. people? So read that verse. Why read the last verse. Why We're going to read the, We're going to read verse 68. Why not bring right? people together? They hate you the word of God. They hate the word of God. Read that again, people. brother. Read verse 68. You so this is the last word. verse. That's going to help you identify what? who are the real Israelites. Which is you, sis. Which is you, brother. You which is you, you brother. Okay, you see what we're dealing with? You Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Okay. Yelling so Moses said the that if he didn't keep the commandments of God, that the Lord was going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again. By using the microphone, do you know what that means, make it more true. Right? What Why don't you engage in a dialogue if you're honest? Why not tell the truth instead of hiding behind the walls of your palace? We're giving you signs to help give you clues. You're preaching hate. We was held captive, right? We were slaves, right? When you when you see all. Those Part pictures that was going on in Egypt here. that could show so-called white folk on there? No, you are no, it shows hate. other people. But keep right. reading. Preaching and the hate. Lord shall you bring me into Egypt again with ships. Oh, we were going to be truth. doing slavery again. Who cares we were what your label is? With ships. I'm a well, Jew. I don't care. Call you yourself whatever you want. Did your people ever go into slavery on ships? I repeat it. Right. Did, did the so-called white man in history ever go into slavery as a whole nation on slave ships? No. No. Which yes, race of people Jews have been enslaved. went into slavery Jews were enslaved before on slave ships? Who did it all? So-called, say that again, so-called Africans, right? So-called black people, right? Right. right? This is our history. Right. Our history is Bible prophecy. Yes, right. Right. We are the Israelites. Yes, right. Right. Oh, it's going to start to make sense. We're the people of the book. But keep reading. So what? So what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. What is your right. point? The Sir, Bible says that the real point? Israelites would never see Who their homeland again. Who cares who's real? It's all yeah. right. Stay right here. Don't go nowhere. 
You said, what does it matter, right? Yes. What does it matter? Give me John 8.32. Well, don't, don't put that away. away. When you can't think of an answer, John 8.32. Talk to me. He, he claims to, me to be a mind. Jew, right? But he said, put the Bible away. What kind of God-fearing person would say, put the, the Bible, Bible away? Bring Bring it it Does that sound like the a God-fearing man? The Bible condones slavery. What, the says, Bible condones slavery. Would a godly man say, put the Bible the away? The Bible has been used well, to would enslave people. Would a godly man say, put the Bible the away? Absolutely not. That's Showing you he's not godly. What? No, but yeah. he, he said, what does it matter? I'm going to show you why it matters. I don't know. chapter 8 and verse 32. He said, no, the truth. So he's talking about truth, right? The Bible said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth down. shall the make you down. free. Yes, and the truth Put is what's the going to make us free. Yes, but I have a question for you, sir. Yes. Who are the children of Israel? I have no idea. Okay, so that means he doesn't know the truth. That's right. Let me ask you a question. Wait. Are you a Jew? I'm as much a Jew as you are. That is not biblical. That, that is a lie. I don't care. That is what this brother was teaching. I don't care what you he said. He doesn't it. care about the truth. I don't care but what God you just call said it. The truth I care about free. what you do. Another question: Who did God come to redeem? Who cares? Exactly. He wouldn't care because his people are in bondage. That's right. His people never suffered this. Right. So, so why would he care time, about salvation? In the meantime, you if you don't need salvation, then why would you care? Right. His people are ruling right now. Right. That's why he has no need to be You're saved. He has no need to get out of the ghetto. Right. He has no need to know what his nationality is. Right. Because the truth does not matter You're to him. Right. Read that again. So Chapter 8 and verse 32. Yeah. And ye shall know the truth. Uh -huh. And the truth you shall make you free. Yes. Any uh -huh. man that would tell you that the truth does not matter, he's not a godly of man. Yes. Give me Matthew 15, 24. This is the oppressor's Bible. Matthew chapter 15, this verse 24. Let's see Bible. what it matters. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sick, but unto the lost seat of the house of Israel. So it absolutely matters that you know you are of the Why? 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 Because Jesus Christ said that's who he's returning for. Right. That's why, why it matters. Give me why Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 13. Proverbs 29 and 13. I'm showing you why it matters. Why because no God women? said, Christ said he's returning why for the children no of women? Israel. Right. So if you don't know why the one of the people no that Christ is returning for, how can you apply why salvation? No Bring it out. You can. Why you are there no women here? Truth. You have to know the truth. Why are there no women here? Read that. Why are there no women here? Why would a, because, why would a man take his wife out to battle with him. Bring it out. What he does not realize is we are at war. Oh, yes, we yes, are warned against yes, we are the life for the know. souls of our people. You don't know the women I know. We are at war right you now. That's right. right now, I'm fighting for I my people. That's right. That's what he's you. doing. I know he's fighting for his labor. people as well. Right. I don't Read that. Proverbs so chapter 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision. So where there is no vision. Our people have been deprived of the vision of us being in rulership for far too long. Right. Our people have been deprived of the vision that we are God's chosen people for far women. too long. You right. hate women and gays. If I you hated hate women, women, why would you I take women. the time to well, teach my sister? That's what they said when they don't let, let you, you in the question. country club. Have I showed you any bit of hate since I've been here? No. I've shown Bring you up. love. That's Bring what they up. say when they say You say we teach hate. Show me where I'll start hate. We love Read that. that. Well, we there is no vision. So where our people have no vision, we've never been taught how important we are. Right. We've never been told that God loves us, how much, that we are supposed much, to be in rulership. Right. We've to never been told that. that. Read. The people, people perish. The people do what? The people perish. The children of Israel would perish when they had no vision of who they are, who their God is. What their God requires of them, right. who their enemies are. Right. All of these things are true. Right. Oh. So they matter. We must know these things. That's right. But it's his job to keep you from knowing. Right. Why? Because the longer he keeps us believing we're nothing, guess what? His people get to run the earth. Yeah. Give me Psalm 64 and 6. Bring it out. Psalm chapter 64, verse 6. We're done believing your lies. 
We can read now. Hey. Right. We can read. Psalms chapter 64 and verse 6. Read it. Start at verse 1. Verse 1. Hear my voice, O oh God. This is a prayer that we pray to the Lord. Read. In my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. From what? From fear of the enemy. This man and his people are our enemies That's because right. they don't want you to know the truth. Right. Any enemy. man that will tell you You're the truth brother. does not matter, he is your, your enemy. Right. Your You're, my You're, You're my brother. Was Cain not Abel's brother? Right. You're my brother. Was Cain not Abel's brother? Right. What did Cain do to Abel? Huh? What did he did what? Hey, he killed let's, him. Let's be he killed him. Right. Right. Yes, who your two brothers are. These men standing up here teaching you who you are. Let's fight for the enemy. Instead of fighting each other, let's fight for the enemy. Amos 1 and 19. 1 and 19? Amos 1 and 19. <laughs> Look, now he's taking off. The scriptures is coming out. He can't. Much, I should let it go. How much do you want me? One and nine. One and nine. Let's see. Problem, let's huh? see what our brother did to us. You taught me. Amos, you chapter you one and verse nine. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyrus, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. They delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. His people, the Amalekites, they stem from Edom. Right. If Edom is the so-called white man. Ah, right here. Call me out and I will rejoice. Otherwise, you have Esau. a good day. This good day. is the Amalekite. That's right. Because he delivered us up to him, let's see what again. Esau did. Right, we'll and remember not the brotherly covenant. So his people did not remember the brotherly covenant. Guess what? They broke that. The moment, the moment, the moment that Cain slew Abel, guess what? We were able to see that they were our enemies. Right. You know. We were able to identify the enemy. And that's what we're here teaching now. So don't ever let someone of another nation tell you what's best for your people. Right. Bring because it they out. don't have your best interest at heart. That's right. Men who look like you, who have been and are fighting the same struggle that you're fighting, guess what? We're the ones that's gonna rebuild this nation, not his people. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.